In this video, I will go from this to this, with a detour through a bit of this. Join me as I draw, model, animate and film fantasy robots fighting in a machine-only world. It's crossover steampunk mecha. It's the behind the scenes before there's even a film. It's Retro Roboland. So last week I finished building the model and painted it boring old grey. So here's a sketch of a ship painted in dazzle paint from the First World War, which were geometric camouflage patterns that, when viewed through submarine periscopes, made it difficult to see the direction they were moving in. Which I really like this sort of look, so I will use dazzle paint as the basis for the camouflage design and colour scheme. Well, because I will be filming against the green screen, I will choose the opposite side of the colour wheel, red, plus grey, and charcoal. So, I have ink outlines representing top and bottom of the flying robot, and I will get to work. As I do so, let me give a shout out to Vox, which is another favourite channel because they have an exceptional video all about dazzle paint schemes on ships. Link in the description. So almost done with the top design. What you may notice here is that the red never touches the black directly. I like using grey as a kind of buffer colour. So I've looked at a lot of reference photos and the top design is almost like a tiger stripe variant whereas underneath uh, have large sweeping curves running left to right. And for the sides of the flying robot I just have to match up the colours to make a seamless wraparound like on warplanes or perhaps Christmas wrapping paper. So I'm mixing up acrylic paint here, red, a small amount of yellow and white, and I will put it into a sealed container so it will not dry out. So that looks pretty cool. Now just painting the charcoal on the top and I will leave the base grey as the buffer. Then after the top camouflage has dried, I flip it over and start painting the bottom in red. And then with the charcoal, well, charcoal coloured paint, it's, it's not actually charcoal. And then to do the in-between bits, or the wrap, I need to use a much finer brush for that. This part I found quite satisfying. And then, having painted in camouflage, I mixed up a dark brown wash with water and painted the whole model to break up the evenness of the colour. Now, there are actual commercial washes, but for me here today, some student acrylic paint and water, I'm good with that. And for the folds on the wing, I used a dry brush for, I suppose, oil stains in the thicker, darker shade. I'm sort of figuring this out as I go along. It may come back and do some touch-ups and other painting of this model before I actually film the sequence. And once I have set and have tested with the lights on the green screen and see how it all looks. But for now, this is good enough. 
So once I was done with the painting, I took these photographs of the model in different action poses. I mean, it will actually flap its wings and fly in the finished film, but that should give you an indication of the direction in which we're all heading. The next video will be lots and lots of concept drawings of the interior and exterior set designs. Check that one out for sure. Thanks for watching. Click like and subscribe over there. You can start the playlist from the beginning. It's going to get longer and longer over there. That one the YouTube algorithm has chosen. Thanks for watching.